Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of From the Depths, Season 3. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. So, um, I took out the one Onyx Watch fleet that we fought last time before the freeze. Um, there was another one here, but I ignored them. This fleet here was the one that came from here, which we fought last time, and I was trying to avoid them um, to fight the Strength 40 that they were sending at us, but it turns out these guys came to help. So, I guess we're going to fight them again. Um... So, yeah, um, I, I guess we're going to do this again, and these guys might come reinforce, and, uh, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. My intention was to not fight these guys again, but that kind of happened, and I, uh, I did want to catch this bit, and also, this will probably go pretty quick. Again, I'm only engaging with one thing, or one fleet, I should say, and, um, and if this does still turn out to be, like, too, um, what's the word? To be, like, too easy or whatever, you know, like, we're not taking many casualties and stuff, then probably I will, uh, probably I will up the actual difficulty. Um, but, but last time during that battle, when it froze, before we actually finished the battle, we were taking quite a bit of damage. Uh, so it, it was certainly more of a fair fight than previously. I'm trying to find the dam. There we go. Wow, holy crap. Look at all these explosions, guys. Okay, so there's the condor. It looks like we've spawned in quite a bit. I also need to lower the block count. That was the other thing um, I meant to do. But, you know... It's probably okay for this one, because we kind of already went through this battle, so if it goes super fast, that's actually fine. <laughs> the amount of missiles flying around is ridiculous. It's like we're inside a fireworks show. Like, you know these huge ones they shoot up in the sky and they explode? It's like we're inside of that. Oh man, this guy. I think all his ammo just got blown to Kingdom Kong. Yep, he's dead. Um... I mean, even even still, we're taking some damage. This guy is gone. This guy is slowly going. Says he's too damaged, which I find interesting because really, there's there's quite a bit of him left. Um, there's still a few little guys. Um, they do have quite a bit of small, <laughs> but these lasers, man, they just rip them in half, literally. Rip them in half. I'm not sure. Here's the uh, God Empress. We still need to find those little marauders. Um, even so, though, he still has missiles and stuff, which do pretty good. There's our Conqueror. It looks like he's actually on the surface of the water. No, he's not. He's just kind of way back there. Okay, so here is their last thing they spawned in. Um, this might be something we didn't see last time. And I think it is. Wow. Holy shit. Yeah, we didn't see this last time. Good lord. Dude, this is like a transformer. <laughs> like, that's what it reminds me of. It's like one of the transformers. Like, holy, holy lord. Oh, man, this, this is bad. Oh, no. Oh, dear. I hope we have, like, anti-missile guns. Or, no shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're taking damage. I mean, pretty much everything. Except the Sky Buccaneer... The Phoenix and the Aerial Destroyer are all damaged. Like, these missiles are really going to hurt this guy. Now, he has blown up some of them beforehand, before they get here, but some still went in there. Um, we turn around, though, and look at our enemy. He's, um, he's already dead. That was a very interesting enemy right there. Probably shouldn't have taken the camera away, but I did want to check on our guys. We can still kind of look. I mean, he has a lot of missile bays. Uh, it looks... Are those cannons? I'm actually not really sure what those are right here. Are those... Those aren't lasers, I don't think. I don't know. He may have only had the missiles. Um, very interesting design. I must admit. So I'm kind of glad we did this battle again. Um, it was a little bit easy. I mean, we spawned in a lot of stuff. So I think... 
in this next one against his strength 40. Um, I'm going... Oh, shit. Are there... Oh, dear. There's more guys behind us, too. That's not good. What? Am I, like, missing some... Is there other stuff here to shoot at? Oh, is this one of their guys? What? Oh, there's more guys over here? Is this maybe the strength 40? That's possible. It's nighttime. It looks really interesting at night. Wow, so there were more... This, I don't think this is a part of the same fleet. I think this is that... Or maybe it's the last part of it? I think this is that strength 40, though. So I guess we won't be lowering the block count for that. I'm, like, so far away, I can't even see what's going on. This thing's big. Whatever this is... I'm not really sure what this is. It's dead. And we're getting our audio glitch again. Wonderful. Thanks, game. Screw you. Um, so he, this guy over here is going to spawn in. Game, you're going to really piss me off. None of that, please. It's kind of hard to see. <laughs> it's really dark. Like, holy shit, it's dark. Okay, I think it's lightening up again. Alright, so once he's dead, the next one to spawn in, I believe, is going to be this guy. So we can watch him as he spawns in. He's like a little fighter jet. A little pod here. He's not going to last long. These lasers are actually having a surprisingly hard time hitting him. Until now. <laughs> Until now. And that is just like the Death Star explosion. Like, holy crap. Oh, dear. Why is this battle not over? Like, am I just... Like, is there other stuff spawned in that I'm just, like, totally missing? Is there something, like, under here? It's so hard to follow this, man, in these big open skies and stuff. What is going on? Why... I see nothing. They seem to be shooting at something. But... I think they're, like, waiting for that guy to despawn. Okay, battle finished. Yeah, that was a strength 40. Um, we did we did take some damage. Not very much, however. So, I'm going to go ahead and times 4 speed here and repair our guys up. Um, we could take on the next fleet with our uh, boat fleet here, I suppose. They're not quite as powerful, so it might be more of a fair fight um it's a, str it's a strength 159 though which is a little concerning I'm trying to find the damn radar dish um let me times 10 speed this so i can like get him over here and maybe see a little bigger deal of what's going on Okay, so holy hell, that is a strong feat, fleet, good lord. That is really strong, jeez. Some of this stuff is really scary, holy, oh well that's not, or wait, yeah that's not them. This is, this is the twin guard, this is not, um, but that, oh wow, that's really scary. Um, I'm going to... I guess I could use our ship fleet. I could go up to this one. I'd kind of like to take out this one first, though. It's going to take a really long time to get there. So maybe it would be best to um, just have our air fleet engage. Oh, uh, let's see. We can position these guys kind of up here while we wait. And these dudes, <laughs> they're following us. I wonder how the relations with the um, Twin Guard are. It'd be funny if they just, like, followed us in a battle and then the Twin Guard just, like, decides to engage on them instead. <laughs> I don't think that would happen. Holy mother of God, don't do that. I didn't want to get that close. Come on, man. Okay, we're almost there. Sorry about that. I, uh... I kind of forgot our ships were this far away. Oh dear. Just 
Just don't fight me right now. Um, no. If this starts with only our submarines, we are fucked. Big time. Kinda did. Our ships are like way out here. So that's gonna be a problem, but... <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Okay, so... But... So these two bars... The, the more I lower it, the more resources I get. Um... Okay, well, let's give them... Let's give them, like, 9.2 and us 20. I mean, that's kind of unfair, but that's, like, the best I think I can do for them. <clears throat> um, our submarines, I think, would probably be good. And, uh... I want to get the Aegis up here. He has some nice shielding and, uh... And, and stuff. The... This guy has a sh shit ton of firepower, because I saw him in the battle I did off-screen against the Onyx Watch, and, uh, whew, yeah. <laughs> a lot of firepower. Raider's pretty good. Move the Hector Monitor up. Um, the uh, fast attack boat I think I might throw up here, because... It might be hard to hit. I guess that's it. I don't know. I mean, we'll go with whatever. So yeah, I mean, it gives me like double what they get, which is still kind of unfair. But I think this, I, I think this battle is going to be more fair um, in general, simply because, um, simply because our our ship fleet, our boat fleet, is not as strong as our air fleet. I don't think we have a few lasers. Um, among them, but they're not nearly as powerful, and they're obviously not as mobile, so This guy is sending out flares um, for these missiles, but it's not gonna stop all of them Certainly not so he is kind of screwed at this point. Ooh, look at this guy um, I suspect we're gonna take quite a bit of damage This guy is like rotating cannons <laughs> Whatever that is got screwed all oh, he's being repaired Wow, these rotating cannons are quite interesting. And rotating repair tentacles, a lot of them. Good lord. And then this dude, he's got like missile bays in here. He's got a big ass cannon, which I'm not really sure how it shoots. Um, more stuff. And he has like another dude trailing behind him. This is, um, I guess these are like, the, this is a sub vehicle spawner deal. <laughs> which is about to get wrecked by the way. I think it's just going to rip this entire part off of his ship at this point. Um, that would be my guess. So, we're taking a little damage. Not as much as I suspected. Um, I would say mostly because these guys have quite a bit of cannons and not quite as many missiles or lasers. I know the Twin Guard do have lasers. Now, I did engage with my submarine fleet, too, but even so, we only got, like, what, like, seven things spawned in or something? I mean, and these things are durable. I mean, sh holy crap. Like, he's just, like, he's just repairing the thing that's, like, almost entirely broken off. I like all the smoke um, that some of the ships release. It, it adds a really cool effect. A lot of these missiles coming from nowhere are from the submarines, which I think may be giving us a huge advantage, so spawning both these in at once, probably not the best idea for um, fairness. <laughs> we probably could have won with just our submarines had we... it would take a while, but we probably could have because these guys, I mean, their weapons just aren't very well equipped for taking out submarines, it doesn't look like. Um, that is a lot of missiles, holy crap. This guy is slowly sinking. The AI's dead. And my mouse is moving on its own, apparently. So he's starting to despawn. Um, once he does fully, then th this is a big ship right here, whatever's gonna spawn in. 
This is quite a large ship. These guys are both too damaged, so I guess they'll despawn here shortly. Um, in about a second-ish. Except the seconds are more like five seconds, but... Okay, so they're despawning. This guy is about to spawn in, I believe. Here we go. Oh, he's just another one of those. Oh, come on. Yeah, I think these are actually... These actually build vehicles from the vehicle spawners rather than just repairing... Yeah. So this is a sub-vehicle spawner. The problem is <laughs> he gets destroyed before he can do anything. So I think I am going to up the difficulty. I mean, if we look, it's not even close to fair. This guy got pretty damaged, but I think after this episode, um, I have made my final decision. I am going to increase the actual difficulty um, because this is just a little unfair, and I would like more of a challenge. Um, and plus we get to see more cool ships, because if you increase the difficulty, apparently it spawns in some different ships that are only um, able to spawn in on higher difficulties. Um, 97 seconds. Gee, I hope we don't have to wait that long. <laughs> but, uh, look at this little stick of a cannon. A little toothpick. Um, but yeah. Oh, look at that sky. Damn. It's like the apocalypse. I'm, uh... Oh, looks like there's maybe one more enemy up here, potentially. Or is that ours? I don't know. Um, I am really enjoying the Twin Guard. Their ships are are very cool. I would say much more interesting than the Onyx Watch with the sub-vehicle spawners and all that. Um, I'm having a lot of fun fighting them already, and we haven't even really touched the surface. I just, uh, I think their ships are, are very cool. Which is part of what was lacking from the Onyx Watch. They were kind of just like metal bricks without coloring. <laughs> um, so this guy spawned in. There's one more down there. It's kind of unfair they're only... Like, they should have at least spawned both these in at once, but... This guy. He's about to get screwed big time. See all the missiles coming out of the water. And from over here. See, this Gilgamesh, man... He just, like, he has a lot of firepower. He just got a hole blown through him so far that the missiles just fly straight through it and miss. But, uh, but yeah, this guy's dead. Definitely, definitely need to up the difficulty. Yeah, this one's not going to last long once he does spawn in. I mean, if you look at our list, we have, like, everything spawned in, and they have, like, spawning one thing at a time. That's really kind of unfair. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know how to do the block count distribution really much better. You know, if I increase it, they get more, but then we also get more. We, like, I think it's just, like, defaulted to us getting double. Pretty much. And this guy... <laughs> He, like, spawned on a little stand. Um, he does have missiles, so... Ooh, these look like potential... I don't know what those are. He is gonna get in some damage, for sure, unless they all get blown out of the air. And he's actually shooting some of our missiles out of the air, if you saw that. He's not gonna last long, but... Jeez, he actually... He is actually doing a pretty good punch here. These missiles, they get to where they're going. Not entirely sure where that is. Um, we'll do some damage. I don't know if they're going to submarines or if they got, like, somehow diverted. <clears throat> but now we have, like, a small nuclear explosion <laughs> in this guy, so, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, dude. Oh, here comes a whole other way. These are gonna, like, blow his stand apart. This is, um, that's one thing I really like about from the depths, the explosions look extremely realistic. Um, like, like you can see the shock waves here, which obviously does happen in explosions. Um, it makes it look cool. It's just an added detail effect that really adds, adds to it. Um, so yeah, this guy, not really sure. I guess he, I guess this is how he's supposed to spawn. It's just like a little, little robot on a platform, shoots missiles. If our uh, fleets weren't so damn powerful, or didn't all spawn in at once, he might actually do quite a large chunk of damage to us. Um, 
Like, had we fought these guys, like, before the Onyx Watch, when we were, like, star for metal and stuff, um, we, we would probably have quite a difficult time. Because if you remember back then, we did not have a lot of these really powerful ships that we have now. Uh, mostly because we didn't have the metal to do it. Now you have the resources to do most anything. Um, <laughs> so, let me double check our time here. It looks like we are just at 20 minutes, so I think I am going to end it at that. <clears throat> I will repair all these guys up off screen. I will change the difficulty, and then I think at the beginning of next episode, we will... Uh, we will spawn one or two things in and then engage in another battle. I'm looking forward to like one of these fights. That's going to be quite interesting. 329, that's extremely powerful. Um, yeah, I'm guessing these guys kind of spawn all up in here. And there were actually more Onyx Watch that we did not initially f see. Kind of a pain. I'm just going to slowly do those off screen. They're not really interesting to watch anymore. But uh, but yeah, that is going to be it, guys. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed and look forward to the next. But until then, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.